What's going on YouTube? Level Zero Gaming here and today we are going to be talking about energy for new players in Black Desert Online. Now this game has a resource called energy. Um, it's, it's used to gather active fish, hire workers. Um, it's used for quite a few things and if you look here you can see there are two numbers for your energy. The number on the right is going to be the total energy that your account has. The number on the left is the energy that your current character has. So you can see right here that this character I am on has 93 out of 93 energy. If I go to my character select, you can see this character, my Musa, has 80 out of 93. And then the rest of my characters all have 93 because I haven't done any life skills on those characters today. So anytime you gather, let's say you, you chop a tree it's going to consume one energy and get some materials consumes an energy and naturally over time you will regain energy uh, I don't know the exact numbers I think it's like one energy every three minutes or something you can purchase energy potions uh, they have different sizes they have small medium large and extra large the large energy potions recover 30 energy all the potions have a 10 minute cooldown and so that's another way you can kind of help yourself keep going if you're trying to do like a long life skilling session now to gain more total energy um, if you're a new player i suggest following the main storyline because you're going to get contribution points which is going to be another resource which we will go over in another video you're gonna It, you know, you're going to start out somewhere up here. It's going to bring you through Velia, down through Heidel, and then you're going to end up coming over to Calpheon. And it's just going to take you all over, and you're going to see NPCs, kill enemies, and over time you're going to, just from doing the storyline, you're going to naturally gain total energy. Another way you can do it is if you press the H key, it pulls up your knowledge page. And you can see here there's quite a few drop downs you got character topography c ecology now the character we're not going to go super in depth with this this is just kind of basic info but like let's say you click on people of eastern balanos you can see i've completed these first two because they're highlighted in blue basically in velia if i talk to all these npcs i will get two energy if i talk to all these merchants in velia i will also get two energy and you can kind of just use this as a guide of, okay, I need to go talk to this person or I need to go talk to that person. Um, this is going to be another video I'm going to make is going to go more in depth on the knowledge system and more advanced ways to get more energy. Um, but just know that that is a resource there if you press the H key. Now, energy is important because there are quite a few items in the game, especially if you're trying to, to cook or do alchemy or craft anything. Um, some of those items they're just they're, they're constantly sold out on the marketplace like let's say you're doing cooking and you're looking for meat you can see there are zero in stock and it pretty much always stays at zero in stock for any type of red meat um, and you can see right here at the highest price there is a hundred and forty four thousand pre-orders so you're going to want a life skill to to get your own meat um, that's just that's just kind of how it how it goes now in our gathering video which I will be putting out sometime in the next week or so I will go over which items you should prioritize gathering so that you can sell on the market or you can use them to cook and make more money energy is also used to increase the rank of a node so me specifically right now I have been working on the mansion forest node and to invest your energy into the node you have to connect it. So you can see here from Grena, I connected to Lake Flondor, to Whitewood Forest, to Central Lemuria Camp, to Mansion Forest. And now when I click on it, I can invest energy and you can get the nodes up to level 10. And what this does is the more levels it has, the more loot it potentially can drop. Um, so a lot of people like to get these to max level to try to prioritize and get that higher chance of getting a rare drop. Getting it to level 10 does take quite a little bit of time especially if you don't have mass amounts of energy but like i said every character that you have will have a max of 93 so it is beneficial to make multiple characters whether it's just to 
build up the energy and spend them on nodes or if you want to make multiple life skilling uh, alts. This is my cook that I'm on right now. Right now I have my main set up to actually life skill and collect snake and scorpion meat. And I have my archer who I use my Fugar's timepiece on during the season to I have him parked out near Valencia to collect lion meat at the current moment. And if you want to know more about the Fugar's timepiece and what it does, check out this video right here. I'm going to link it up in the top right corner. It's going to bring you to our, if you're a new player, why you should start with a season video. But anyways, if you guys find this knowledgeable or helpful in any way, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on the videos we're going to be putting out for this game. Leave a comment down below if you have a question or you just want to say something. We'll do our best to get back to you, and I hope you guys have a good day. Peace.